Hi pals, Siska Tears here. I'm Tony and I'm Mary and welcome to our channel. Welcome. welcome. So today we are going to do something fun and we're going to talk about Walt Disney World versus Disneyland. Yes, we have this series going on. Yep. Um, we usually do attractions. Today we're going to do it a little bit different. We've got something fun to talk about. We're only going to talk about one thing. Yes. And what is it? Disney Springs versus Downtown Disney. Yay! Yes! Yes. <laughs> the differences. The differences Yay. in them and like maybe what we like yeah. or don't like yeah, about yeah. each. Yeah. Walt Disney World. Why do I keep wanting to say Walt Disneyland? Walt Disney World. So versus that's Disney. Disney Springs. Disney Springs. Versus, versus Disneyland, which is Downtown Disney. Right. Which... Disney Springs used to be called Downtown Disney, and sometimes I still call it Downtown Disney. Every once in a while it happens, yes. because it did used to be Downtown Disney, back when it was much smaller than yes. it is now. Oh yeah, it's completely different. Um, so some comparisons is yeah. size, right? obviously. Um, but that just goes in the theme with the comparison of Walt Disney World and Disneyland. Right. Because everything at Disney World is bigger. Yeah, I mean, you they just have I mean, more space. More space. Yeah, yeah. So that's the biggest comparison. Disney yeah. Springs is bigger than Downtown Disney. Yeah. Another big comparison is proximity to the parks. Yeah, so that was one of my things I wanted to talk about because that's a positive for me, like, I think, for Disney uh, land. Oh, absolutely. You know, because it's literally right there. It's within walking distance. There's not one park or one place except for maybe Saratoga Springs that is within walking distance of Disney Springs. Yeah. And it's just crazy. Like there's major highway. Like Yeah, I mean it's, it's just out of control. Yeah. So um that's that's a huge difference as well. Oh yeah. You know, how long it takes you to get Yeah. I mean you'd literally there. walk through downtown Disney to get to the parks. Yeah, if you're staying if you're staying over, over there. Yeah. that direction. Of yeah. course, which we did. We did. We came through down. We walked downtown through Disney. downtown Disney to get to the park. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. I think another big thing, like, difference for me is the amount of restaurants at Disney Springs versus the amount of restaurants at downtown Disney. Um, yeah. There there are some there, but it's nothing like Disney Springs. I mean, there are no. just, there's so many restaurants, which, again, that comes with the size. The size. The space. Uh, the size of it. Yeah. You know, the space that they have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know, there's more food options at Disney Springs. Yeah. So the thing that I don't really care for about Disney Springs is its size. It's huge. It's sometimes a bit overwhelming, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And like if you just if you just want to go like I don't know, cuz I remember we were it was like right after they finished all of the adding on of everything. And we were going to eat somewhere. Did well, you get lost? If you don't park in the right deck, and you're, you're like the on the other side, you know, you have to trek all the way over, you know. So if you're not like really paying attention or know where you're going, yeah, or if you it's can your get first time lost or, or confused yeah. or have to walk, you know, 12 miles from your parking deck all the way over to the restaurant that you have a reservation at, you know. So yeah. that can be a little bit, you know. Yeah. Like, whatever the word is. Inconvenient. Yeah. <laughs> inconvenient. It can be a little bit inconvenient. Um, I think, too, like, in in comparison, you know, one to the other, I think, like you say, the, the, the big is not as good. Yeah, the small is better. And for, like, the size of Disney Springs, you almost have to have a full day oh, yeah. just to go there. Yeah. When with Downtown Disney... You, you, you can just go on yeah. your way out, on your way in, in yeah. the middle of the day. It's literally with, I mean, if you've never been to Disneyland, it's like Disneyland, um, California Adventure, Downtown Disney. And they just make this, yeah. and you can just walk. I mean, even right. one of the resorts connects between Downtown Disney and California Adventure. Right, yeah. I mean, you can, you have entrances to both. Yeah. There's a walkway between, so... It's super convenient, super easy to navigate. Mm -hmm. um, I actually prefer their World of Disney yeah. store, like the layout, where it is, to Disney Springs World of Disney store. Yeah. I like Disney Springs. Um, however, like a lot of those stores don't appeal to me. 
Same. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, I mean, it's just like a shopping it's mall. It's more like a shopping know? center than yeah. a, Disney a Disney attraction. attraction. Yeah. And downtown Disney feels more like a Disney attraction. I too. mean, there are some stores there, obviously, that I enjoy. But, like, a lot of them, I'm just like, I don't need to go to a Levi's store, you know, while I'm at Disney. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. I, well, I mean, I don't know. But. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think that downtown Disney feels more like part of the Disney experience yeah. and Disney Springs just feels like hey, I'm gonna go shopping. Right. Yeah. And that's why And I think that was their goal. They wanted to create well, like yeah. that type of shopping district, you know, food place. But, and and Disney know. Springs probably pulls a lot of locals. Because it doesn't yeah. cost anything to go right. there. It doesn't, cost to, it doesn't even cost to park, which I'm surprised. You know, you so don't have to pay to park there. Um now you do have to pay to park to go to downtown Disney. Get to park in the parking deck mm -hmm. unless you're staying at a, a hotel yeah. or resort and yeah. you're already paid. Right. But if you're going to just go to downtown Disney, you do have to pay to park in their parking deck. Yeah. And like Tony said, Disney Springs, you don't have to pay to park in the parking deck, which again is kind of shocking. Which is really shocking. And I would not be surprised if that doesn't change soon. soon. Yeah, but I agree. maybe it won't. I mean, I don't know. I don't Hopefully know. it won't because, I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Um, one other thing that I think is cool in comparison is that the monorail runs through downtown Disney. Yeah. And obviously it doesn't at Disney Springs. No. It's so far out. It's so far away. Yeah. Um, again, it's inconvenient. You have to get on the bus and, or you have to drive your car over. Yeah. Um, and wait on the bus sometimes. Yeah. We all know that what that can be like. Yes. Do you have any more like comparison type um, I mean, I do, you know, I think it's kind of cool that in Disney Springs there it is more like an entertainment district and so there is like a bowling alley and a movie theater you know and so I do think that those little things are nice yeah um you know and then like Disney Springs has the cars the aqua what are they called oh yeah the aqua car the aqua cars and like the big air, hot air balloon thing that you can do like there's it does have its benefits outside of having all those stores that are seem a little, you know. Right. But there, there's, there's like other things you can do. And then also, I don't know, does um, downtown Disney do the trees at Christmas? I don't think so. But they do have um, like quartet singing. Okay. So like at Halloween, when we went at Halloween, there was like a... A ghostly quartet, yeah. so they were out singing. So it's kind of like yeah. different, but the Christmas tree trail is so cool Christmas and so fun. Christmas tree trail is so neat. Yeah. Like when we did that a couple of years ago, I was just amazed at like just the details of each tree. Yeah. And, um, but then also too, one thing I, they have like a little amphitheater stage where they have like musical acts and stuff that you yeah. can sit and watch. And like I said, again, it's more of an entertainment district. It's not just like part of the park part of the parks yeah. you know so you know that part is cool because you can just walk around and still feel like you're in disney yes you know because it still has that disney feel right you know well and so like for which you can do it either way but now if we're going to california it's specifically to go to disneyland there's not yeah i mean if we do other things we do other things but we're not going to go to california and not go to Disneyland. Yeah. We will go to Orlando and not go to Disney World. We've been on a Universal trip. We went on yeah. a... Um, but you can still go to Disney That's what I was say. We went on a cruise yeah. outside of... At, out of Port Canaveral. But we also still, on our Universal trip, we went to Disney Springs one evening. So that's a good way to, like, still get Disney without having to, without like, having go to go. the parks, you yeah. know? Because you can still, like for us, pins are huge. Yeah. That big pin store is still there. Yeah. You get to go in the world of Disney. You know, mm -hmm. they're typically singing Disney-ish music on yeah. that stage. Yeah. Um, you can eat it. Those are Disney restaurants. Yeah. So you can eat there. And so, some of those restaurants are fantastic. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's that's one thing that I think is like a good thing about Disney Springs not being a I mean, it is a part of the Disney bubble, but it's not really a part of the parks. It's not a part of the parks, right. And you don't have to pay anything to go yeah. there. Like you said, at Downtown Disney, you do have to pay to park. Like, if you're a local, or so, unless you, like, you know, here's I don't know where you can park that you didn't have to pay, because there's just, a lot and a deck. I just thought of, like, you know, something that's kind of like a Disney hack. So, like, if you were going to the parks just for, like, the day or something, you could park at Disney Springs 
and take a bus and not have to pay to park at the yeah. park. If you're going in later, no, you have to. I was going to say you would have to. Yeah. You'd have to like you know plan it out for the bus times that go to Disney Springs. But like I mean, you know, if you're just going for like midday or something, yep. and you didn't want to like pay idea. to park, and you're not staying on property, or you're just kind of there. You could go to Disney Springs Park and then hop a bus over to one of the parks yeah. and not have to pay to park. I feel like that's a good a good <laughs> hack. <laughs> that's a good hack. Um, we've Until actually, they start making you pay. Yeah. Springs. Well, we've actually thought about doing that before, and I don't yeah. remember why we didn't. It was probably the bus schedule. It was probably because there wasn't a rope drop bus yeah. at Disney Springs. That's the only thing is, like, the buses don't run early and not, they don't, well, they run pretty they late. They run late. They run late because Disney Springs stays open until, like, midnight or yeah, something. Yeah, like which that. we typically, like, if we're going to go, that's one thing that's kind of comparable between the two. If we're going to go, like, we usually go in the evening when we're done with the park. And we, the same yeah. with. Disneyland and Disney World. Mm -hmm. We never build in a full day for Disney Springs. No. Unless we're, like, it's a, an arrival day. You and I have been on arrival day. Yeah. Or we're leaving. If we're leaving later in the day, we may go in the Which morning. Which we've done that, too. We've yeah. done that as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, we think we did it on the same we trip. We did. Yeah. <laughs> we did. <laughs> yeah. On your birthday trip last year. Yes. We <laughs> went straight to Disney Springs yep. the day that we got there. Mm -hmm. And then we closed it out at Disney Springs and literally left from Disney Springs and drove home. Yeah. Well, I think <laughs> we, did we even go to the hotel before Disney Springs when we got there? We went straight to Disney Springs. We went straight to Disney Springs. Yeah. And yeah. then... Left straight from Disney, from Disney Springs. Springs. Yes. I mean, you got to do, you got to get it in yeah. where you can get it in. So, yeah. um, as uh, overall as a whole, which one do you prefer? Probably Disney Springs, just because of the food. Yeah. Really, the restaurants, and you know, it 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 just has more to offer, and I mean, it does have its cons, but. I think it just has more to offer. I would, I'm going to yeah. have to say the same just because I've been there more times. Yeah. And I haven't experienced as much of downtown Disney, like as far as the food and yeah. stuff goes, as I have at Disney Springs. Yeah. So I'm going to say. Maybe there was more food and we just didn't. Well, I know there's I restaurants, know. but there's not obviously not as many because there's not enough space. Remember but. when we were there and we were, me, you, and Tim and Michael were literally trying to find something to eat like that night, that first night we were mm -hmm. there. And like we were struggling to like find yeah. somewhere what to like want. yeah you know it was kind of weird it we're at disney springs i mean like yeah. it's no brainer there's just stuff everywhere yeah you I know mean, i don't know it, it's different i yeah. i would prefer disney springs um over downtown disney because i guess mostly because i haven't been to downtown disney but a yeah. couple, handful of times and that probably plays a lot into it as well so what do you prefer yeah. what are your your differences between the two um what do you like about them what do you not like about them yep let us know yeah so, until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.